Hey everybody, welcome back to LettermanRow.com. I am Jeremy Birmingham. We are still in beautiful Austin, Texas. The sun is starting to come out a little bit for the first time on our Texas tour. We are at Dell Valley High School, uh, just near the, Tex uh, near the Austin airport and meeting with Braylon James, the class of 2023 wide receiver here at Dell Valley and a player who's offered by Ohio State about three weeks ago now. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Um, and, and you know, Braylon, your recruitment is an interesting one. It's it's you're the third receiver in the state of Texas in the class of 2023. Uh, or I'm sorry, you were the second yes, to, to land the Ohio State offer, and now two of three with Jonte Cook up in uh, Desoto. Let's just go there. What does an Ohio State offer mean to a receiver in the state of Texas right now? I mean, you know, the background behind Ohio State's receivers. I mean, from Garrett Wilson to. Alave to Njigba, I mean, there, there's a long list of receivers in greatness. So just being able to uh, be one of those guys to finally get one of those offers is is incredible to me. So it's a it's a life changing experience. And uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, getting more, uh, to know more about Ohio State and stuff like that. How so. did that offer come about and what was the conversation like with Brian Hartline? How did he first get introduced to you and, and what, what did it mean the first time he called you? Was it a surprise? Oh yeah, it was definitely a surprise. I mean, I just had got done getting my hair retwisted, getting a fresh fade and stuff like that. Uh, so Caleb had just randomly texted me. He was like, hey man, uh, what's your time in the 300 hurdles? And uh, I sent him over my time and he was like, yeah, Ohio State really likes you. You know, I've been, I just got off the phone with Coach Hartline. He was like, hey, I'm gonna send you his number just so I can have each other's numbers locked in. I had no clue he was gonna offer me that night. Um, I texted him, he sent me the questionnaire thing, meaning to call him. So. I shot him the phone call and we were sitting there uh, on the phone a good 10, 15 minutes. I mean, he was telling me his background and how long he's been at Ohio State and stuff. And he was also a hurdle guy as well yeah. in high school. So uh, that was one thing we really got to connect on. And uh, he shot me the offer. And I mean, I, I was at a loss for words. I couldn't even talk straight. I mean, I, I didn't get a chance to talk to Coach Day yet, but uh, just the fact that um, Coach Hartline really saw something in me, really spoke to me. So uh, I was beyond excited. So Caleb is Caleb Burton, Ohio State's 2022 five-star wide receiver commitment, who was once a teammate here uh, at Del Valley High School, who's now at Lake Travis with right. his father taking the job over there. Um, you know, when you have that relationship with Caleb, does it help you gain insight into Ohio State more than just what Coach Hartline says on the phone? You have at least something else to, oh, to yeah. back it up. Oh, yeah, for sure. Especially because, you know, Caleb's been in the recruiting game a long time. And the fact that uh, he committed to Ohio State, he he has a lot of stuff to tell me about his relationship with Coach Hartline and the uh, strength coaches and Coach Day and stuff like that. So he has a lot of stuff I can gain from him. And uh, that that's pretty much a excellent resource for me to use. So, uh, I mean, he's I know him and Garrett Wilson are really close and stuff like that. I know he talks to him nearly daily and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. For a player to commit to Ohio State like uh, like Caleb did, he did it without ever visiting. Yeah. Right? So you have a, an advantage here. You're going to be on campus at Ohio State just two weeks after Caleb is for the first time. Yeah. You told me before we went on the, on the video here that you were going to be making a visit there on June 22nd. What do you hope to get out of that trip? I mean, you're going to a place that's 2,000 miles away. You know you're yeah. going to go meet a coach that you've hit it off with. But what do you have to see in, this, in these sort of visits to, to know that – a school is going to stay involved in, in the mix for you? Uh, definitely the environment and how we connect in person. I mean, connecting over the phone is one thing, but yeah. being able to connect with somebody in person and uh, having a good conversation with him and stuff like that, it's going to be huge. I mean, uh, he may even have me throw on some cleats and we can maybe hit a workout at or something like that. I mean, but yeah, just the fact that I am so young and all of this stuff, being able to finally get to see the facilities and get a feel for the actual state of Ohio, yeah. that, that'll be huge for me. So I think as a member, as a citizen of Austin, Texas, you will realize that Columbus and Austin are very similar in a lot okay. of ways, which is kind of unique. Yeah. There, there's very few places in the country that are like college cities, uh -huh. not, not necessarily college towns. Do you feel like as you look ahead at your recruiting process that there's a certain environment that you would feel most comfortable in? Are you a kid, you know, you look at like Texas A&M who you received an offer from uh -huh. today, it might be a little different you know, in College Station than yeah. it is in, in Austin. Yeah. Do you have an idea of what type of place you feel most comfortable? Um, honestly, I mean, it, it's not the biggest factor for me. I yeah. mean, we can go in here and talk about, oh, I want a crazy state like Austin. I mean, with every, there's everybody here is right. a UT fan and stuff like that. But to me, that's not really important as long as uh, 
the team is good, the relationship is good, and uh, I can win games and develop as a receiver. That's really what's most important for me. So, I mean, the environment matters, but it, it's not what's most important. Obviously, Caleb, as a kid that you have you know and have watched now through the process, he's leaving home. Is there pressure to stay here? Uh, No, none, not, none at all. I mean, people try and put pressure on me. Oh, go to a go to TCU. But uh, to be honest, like, I mean, it, it, it really doesn't matter. Like I said, at the end of the day, I got to find what's best for me, what's the best fit for me. And if that's Ohio State, A&M, TCU, USC, it, it really doesn't matter. So has Texas offered yet? No, not yet. Is that something that as a, I mean, this is something that I think with Jackson Smith and Jigbo, with, yeah. with Garrett, with with Caleb, there was always this sort of question. Yeah. Do you guys hear, and I, I don't, I'm not trying to put you on the spot, uh -huh. but is there, does there start to become a moment of what's, what's their weight? Uh, it's different. I mean, it, it's like Ohio State, and Alabama, schools like that are, yeah. are, are different. If they offer, you have to almost wonder what Texas isn't offering. For, Is, right? Yeah, that, it, that's definitely the real question right now. I mean, I'm not going to sit up here and bash the school or something sure. like that. I mean, uh, I've, I've personally got to talk with Coach Coleman, like just over the phone, just briefly and stuff like that. And I, I really don't know what they're dragging their feet for and stuff like that. But uh, I, I think it's just a local talent thing. I guess they. Uh, I, I don't know if it's the competition level here is different from uh, like some of the guys up in other states and stuff like that. So that that may be it. But yeah, th th that's really all I can touch on on that. You here at Del Valle, you're, you're undergoing a, a program transition. You yes, have sir. Coach Bobby Acosta, who was the head coach at the IMG Academy. I, obviously, one of the biggest you know high school football programs in the country is now your head coach here. What's been different for you guys as you've entered into the spring practice mix? I mean, uh, the intensity is definitely way up there. I mean, Coach Acosta, he's a fun guy. He's a, a real enthusiastic guy. So uh, he's he's really into the energy. Uh, he's a really fast paced kind of moving guy. I mean, he's a really offensive minded guy as well. So, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. I, I mean, Coach Acosta, I love him. He's a he's a great dude. And, uh, <laughs> He's doing a real good job here, and I can see him turning this program around. You're next set year. up here at Del Valley now with Caleb off to Lake Travis as sort of the go-to guy in this offense. Yes, sir. How much are you looking forward to that sort of responsibility being put on your shoulders? Man, I'm I'm real excited. I mean, last year that that was kind of my role. You know, Caleb went out, so I kind of had to step up to the plate. But then I ended up going out for a couple of games. Like I was out two games of the season, so I didn't get uh, get to play against Westlake or. Um, Sam Marcus and stuff like that. So I feel like that really hurt me, but I was able to bounce back and finish off the season pretty strong. But um, now that um, I'm finally, yeah, like you said, that guy, I mean, it's, it's gonna be real exciting. I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. One thing that, you know, we're here with Letterman Row on this, this tour of Texas and visiting Texas high school athletes and getting a sense for the camaraderie that you guys have. And, mm -hmm. and you said earlier that maybe you guys aren't as close as people would think you would be yeah. because, but I, how can you be? There's so many of yeah. you guys here that have division one offers. You are close. You said with John T. Cook at DeSoto, who was on uh, Letterman uh, row on Wednesday, or I'm sorry, on Tuesday. Do you guys start to talk about, Hey, why don't we all start to plan things together? Whether it's visits, whether it's looking towards college or is it, is it more of a, just having a, an extra ear to talk to him about stuff off of? I mean, it, it's really both. I mean, I, I texted John Tay the day he got the offer. I was like, hey, man, let me know when you're thinking about going down to Iowa State. I mean, it's, it's just being able to connect with each other on that kind of level. Just to, yeah, like you said, gain what he thinks about a certain sure. school and what I think about a certain school, put them together. And maybe we could be a pair and go to a school to like end up committing to a school together. I mean, that would be pretty cool. But yeah, it, it's, it's really all love between everybody in the uh, Texas area. for and, sure. And the nice thing is that you guys play in the same position. You get yeah. to kind of bounce the, the words off of each other say, oh, this is what this person said to me. Is yeah. this what they're saying to you? So yeah. it's harder and harder for coaches to to pull a fast one on anybody, exactly. you know, because exactly. all you guys talk to each other so much. As you start to look ahead, Braylon, obviously you're entering your first June of visits. Are you going to Ohio State on June 22nd? Where else do you know for sure that you're going? Uh, right now I have a uh, for sure unofficial, uh, unofficial visit scheduled to um, Cal and Stanford. Those, uh, those are some early offers I got in uh, – I was planning on hitting up USC that whole West Coast swing. So that first week of June, I was going to plan on hitting those three schools. Those are some pretty big schools in the West Coast. And then uh, I really wanted to get a, a look at a and I I really haven't scheduled any visits there yet. But uh, other than that, just those are those are the uh, four schools I know, I know for sure hitting up. There's times when I'm doing these interviews where I'm like, OK, I think this is going to be the end of it. And then you say something that interests me. Yeah. Cal and Stanford are two 
extremely high academic yeah, institutions. How important, I mean, I know it sounds cliche, right? Everyone, yeah, oh, yeah. I want to go to a school with great academics, right? Yeah, yeah. But I mean, Cal and Stanford are different levels of academics. Is mm-hmm. it, Have you started to look at life beyond football and really what you want to, what your interests are? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, whatever school I go to, it's going to be a 40 year decision for me. I mean, um, football doesn't last forever. It's going to end sometime, whether it's in college, in high school, uh, after the NFL, you know what I'm saying? So. The NFL isn't promised uh, for anyone. So if if I'm able to get a good degree in, um, I mean, I want a mechanical and ma- uh, I want to major in mechanical engineering. So if if I can pursue that, that'll be huge for me. So, well, yeah. that's a, a a bright future ahead of Braylon James. And fortunately for us here at Lemon Row, it seems like there's some brightness happening for the first time on our Texas trip. The sun just came out, <laughs> and yep. because of that, I want to make sure I can get out of here and go catch a few rays. So I'm going to let you get on with your day. Yes, this sir. is Braylon James, Ohio State 2023 wide receiver offer from Dell Valley High School in Austin, Texas. I'm Jeremy Birmingham. Head over to LettermanRow.com for all your Buckeyes football needs.